Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 29 on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. I'll start by reading over number 29 and then we can work through some of the math here. First, let's start by reading it over. It says for number 29, use the table below to answer the question that follows. Depth below surface in kilometers and temperature in Celsius. Now we have at 5 kilometers below the surface, temperature is 80 degrees Celsius, and at 9 kilometers below the surface, temperature is 180 degrees Celsius. Then we were given our scenario to explain this table. In 1984, a deep drilling project showed that for depths greater than 3 kilometers, the temperature of the Earth's crust can be modeled as a linear function of the depth below the surface of the Earth. Using a linear model, and given the data in the table above, what is the temperature of the Earth at a depth of 18 kilometers? We have some options. Now look at this scenario. This is actually, there's a lot of language here. Read it to yourself. It's a little wordy, right? So let's just focus on the central image here. Like someone asks you, what is this, this real life scenario about? I'm hoping you'd say it's about, a, well, there's a drilling company, a drilling a drilling project, right? So let's just visualize what that would be. Here's the surface of the earth here, and there's this drilling project, and they must have a, a big drill, right? They, they've got to have a, a big drill to drill down into the earth, right? They're drilling down the earth, and, and the first three kilometers, that has its own set of rules, but as it, as it continues to, to drill down, right? It's drilling down into the earth, they find a a linear pattern. Everyone got that? That They use that word linear, linear, twice. That means that the relationship between, you know, our depth and temperature, the relationship between those two variables changes at a constant rate. There's a constant uh, slope here. And we can think of our depth, right? We can think of that depth as an x input and our temperature as a y in output, x and y. We could kind of map those out on our, our visual here. Like, for example, um, if we dig down 5 kilometers, well, temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. And if we dig down further, let's say to 9 kilometers, temperature is 180 degrees Celsius, right? Now we've got to keep digging. We've got to keep digging and digging and digging until we get to 18 kilometers and we're trying to find out how many degrees Celsius that's going to be. That's our that's our question mark. The model drawing just helps me visualize and organize the information. It's sort of an extension of the table, but but it's it in itself it, it's just helping me organize this information. Now we said that there's a constant rate of change with linear equations. So we want to find that pattern, that that relationship between the the temperature and depth. So we start with our, our y's here. We're going to find the change in temperature. So what is the change from 80 to 180? It goes up 100 degrees. And let's find the change in x's from 5 to 9. We're going down 4 kilometers. Is that right? And if we want to describe this relationship between temperature and depth, we could write it in terms of a rate or think of a rate as a slope. And we said slope is rise overrun, or we said change in y's or the change in x's. In this case, for every 100 degrees, we're going down 4 kilometers. Now let's use this. So for every 100 degrees, we're going 4 kilometers. So we went down 4 here, plus 4. We go up, plus 100. All right, so what if we go down another 4, plus 4 here? That would be 4 plus 9 is 13 kilometers. And plus another 100 degrees here would be 280 degrees Celsius. Let's do it again. Let's add another 4 kilometers to that. Keep on drilling. 13 plus 4 is 17 kilometers. Plus another 100. Uh, that's 380. Now we're not quite at the 18 kilometers yet, but at 17 kilometers, temperature, if we continue this linear pattern, is at 380 degrees Celsius. So if we look at the, our answer choices here, we're trying to find the, the temperature at a depth of 18 kilometers. We know that at 17 kilometers, it's 380. 
so we cross out A. Now, all these are, it's, it's kind of hard to visualize which one these would be. So we've got to go this last kilometer. How do we do that? Well, we go back to our rate. See this rate here, up 100 degrees for every four kilometers. Well, this can be reduced, right? We could take this, divide by a factor of four, and get 25 degrees for every one kilometer. And this is really helpful because now we know that for every one kilometer that you go down, temperature increases by 25 degrees. And that helps us with that final step. When we go, we dig down one more kilometer, 17 plus one gets 18. We're gonna, instead of going up 100, we're gonna go up only 25. And our temperature at 18 kilometers will be 380 plus 25 gets you 405. The answer here is C. What a great problem. Team, I like this problem a lot because it's incorporating a lot of elements in math. You have a table that you have to be able to interpret. You have a, an algebra word problem, which means you got to understand the scenario involved in the problem before you do the math. We did a problem solving strategy where we drew a model drawing and sort of organized the information with our visual. This, this, is a, this is a strategy just to help understand the problem and organize some of the math. We had to figure out, we, they had that language of linear function, linear, linear model, which is the code word for it's moving at a constant slope which means we've got to be able to find that rate or slope, that relationship between those two variables to help us with the problem. And then finally, we've got to be able to um, take our answer of 100 over 4 and be able to reduce it to something that's a little bit, a rate between the temperature and depth that's a little bit more useful at the end. A lot of great stuff to get to the 405, okay? All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day, team. Take care. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.